morning guys today doing a quick little fish in a pond at my house it's just kind of a old strip pit around town that a lot of people hit it's really impossible to fish without a kayak you can fish a very small part of it uh, and that is it so used a jerk bait a little bit i lost a decent one on a spinner bait so I've thrown that a little more, thrown chatterbait some. Can't really tell what's going on. I just know it is five times as clear as anything I've seen in a while. So I'm kind of perplexed about what to do here. I think with these fronts rolling in every afternoon, I don't know. I feel like it gets them going. I can't explain why. I've always been told that as a kid. <laughs> we used to always go out and fish in my grandparents pond right before storms would roll in and we would smoke them so i don't know barometric pressure wind i don't know all i know is i've caught good fish so this is an old strip pit pond there we go yeah oh he spit it again what is up with this spinnerbait Dude, I'm telling you now. And I tried to set the hook on that one better. Man, I'm just gonna have to really, I don't know, maybe they're short hitting it. And I love this field and stream it has these four notches in front here and your rod just lays in it perfect and it's not moving. It's so nice. I really do like this kayak. And the fact that I can still just throw it in the back of my truck. It does stick out really far being 12 feet, but man, I I dig this. This is this is fun, you know? Not a huge investment. Also, it's not so expensive that you're like worried about hurting it, you know? I just go nuts in this thing. Great boat. I'd like to get one more, one more fish here. One more camera fish. Here, fishy, fishy. This, this bottom is covered in a layer of scum and moss. So I'm pretty sure if I got out the chatterbait or something through my, uh, oh. there he is, he hit it. I was gonna say, I don't know if this one's gonna stay on. I didn't get a good set on this one, but, uh-oh, he's hung up. Nope, there he's out, he's little. He was hung up for a second. Oh, hey buddy, all right. A little worse for wear. Sweet. All right. Cool. No, you were hooked good. <laughs> right on top of the mouth. Cool. All right, buddy boy. Let's let you go home. Well, the sun was in the way on that one. Oh, well. Cool. Another one in the boat. It is so much fun being this close to the water, being right down here with them. I mean, it's, you can't beat how much better it is than standing on the bank or being in a regular boat high up in the air. It is just the greatest. I mean, unless you're standing in the water, it just doesn't feel like you're any more with it. Standing in the water has its problems. I've done wade fishing. It has its issues. You know, I probably don't have to worry too much about spooking these fish because I wonder if something pulled the tail down there. Uh, because there is such a good chop on the water,
Big bass just to suck it down. Still don't see the bottom. I remember being pretty shallow back in here when I came back in here. There it is, guys. There's one. All right. Oh, yeah. This is the best one I've hooked today. Come on. Don't throw this hook. Come on in, buddy. I'm leery now. I've lost some. It's coming home. Woo! Oh, that splashed me a lot. Cool. We're on the very back of this, where I said, the, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, come on, buddy. It's all right. In the very back of this, where the water, it, I remember being the shallowest. Well, I'm gonna have to let this guy go pretty quick because I'm getting kicked into the bank. Sorry if it's windy. Hopefully the microphone's not picking too much that up since it's in the pocket. All right, cool. Hey, 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 it's okay. This thing is ready to go. All right. Cool. Got one. Let's see if we can get another one. Man, I keep, I keep thinking, man, I should do something besides the spinnerbait. I should do something besides the spinnerbait, but it's, it's working right now. It's such a classic lure, you know? Maybe it, this time of year or what, but I mean, just tantalizing these fish through the cell. Oh, let's get a fresh one. It's through the strike zone. And they like it. So, whatever, right? Keep, it's working, keep doing it, I guess. Well, guys, I'll wrap it up here in this semi uh, covered from the wind spot. I did catch another one. I stopped recording uh, because my phone's getting low. So just kind of ending it here. This poor guy, he came off right when I threw him into the boat. So I don't know if I did that one or that one or none of them. I don't know, but this poor guy, he's been, uh, he's been hooked a few times. And it looks like by the road where you can bank fish this thing, looks like somebody else pulled in. So anyway, we'll, uh, we'll let this guy go here. There's the good. Better spot to see him. There go. Kind of close to the bank here. All right, there he goes. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. Uh, subscribe if you like what you see here. Uh, I've really enjoyed putting these videos out one after another during this quarantine. I hope everybody's being safe. And uh, hopefully I can continue making fishing videos even when things pick back up. Thanks again.